Hey everyone, welcome back to In Town. Today was tour day. Today we are at a unique gym just outside of downtown Beaver. It's called Damon's Strength Training, and it is a sports performance centered gym for everybody. So let's head inside and check it out. <laughs> Oh man, this is something, as far as training and fitness, is something that I always liked since I was a kid, you know? From my first Hulkamania set to my first set of weights, I get like all these bodybuilding magazines and bodybuilding tapes and, you know, plus I played sports, so it was like, you know, lift weights, get better at sports, that's what it used to be, that's what you were told, you know? Uh, my name is Rick Damon and I own Damon Strength Training. So when I graduated from IUP in 04, I went back to Rochester, um, asked Coach Gene Matzik if I could coach. I said, I'll run the weight room program. And he was like, yeah, absolutely. So 04, going into 2005, uh, I began running Rochester's high school football program. And I literally put my heart and soul into that place. I went to a seminar in New Jersey, um, was at a little small garage gym in New Jersey. And I was like, I'm doing the same exact thing back at Rochester High School with this guy's doing in New Jersey. The next day <clears throat> I started driving around, my wife and I at the time, she was my girlfriend. And I was like, I'm opening the gym. I absolutely love owning my own business. I feel that um, I just, I, I love having the responsibility of having a challenge every day. When you own a small business, it is a challenge every day. I don't think people realize the ins and outs of owning a small business. When you first open a small business, you don't realize the impact that it could have on, on, the, on the county. I mean, I just wanted to open a gym to train people. I never expected the impact that we'd have had along the way just from treating people with respect and showing people that health's important and just really being truthful and, and caring to people, you realize this is, people want stuff like this. Mm -hmm. They want a small business to not, to not lie to them. They want a small business to treat them well and they want to feel a part of something, right? People like to still feel a part of a team or feel, feel a part of an organization or something that gives back to them what they give, and not just a take. We've grown over the years. Um, we tell our members, um, exactly what we're going to do and we do it. We have a philosophy that we follow from the time that you step in here to the time that you leave. And we continue to deliver that, that philosophy day after day, month after month, year after year. Uh, and we always look to improve. And we, we truly do care about our members. When somebody walks through that door and they sign that paper, it's not just them signing a paper and this gym collecting a payment. That's them saying, I have complete faith in you for you to guide me, Rick, Dina, Coach Chris, Coach Sean, whoever. And we take that very serious. This gym's for everybody. You know, we used to stick to kind of just, you know, athletes and then we started opening up and it wasn't like when we opened, we were like, okay, all one, all one come all. We, we kind of grew, you know, and we've developed one-on-one -on -one programs over the years. You know, our, our oldest client at one point was 70 some years old. You know, and our youngest client starts at age 10. Um, there's a very detailed program for 10 year olds. And then we go through and we have different progressions based off assessments for athletes. Um, and we train teams. We have a lot of teams. We have basketball teams, we have football teams. And, um, you know, we're looking to continue to grow that aspect of our business as well. Hey, thanks for following along today. Part of my job as a realtor is to cultivate, educate, and grow the communities I live and work in. The other part of my job is to help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. So please keep me in mind if you or anyone you know needs help in those areas. If you know of other locally owned businesses I should highlight in this series, please let me know. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget the like button. That helps here on YouTube. Till next time, take care.